two weeks before the school year is set to begin and I'm outside Scarlet Heights Entrepreneurial Academy which is supposed to be the new home for York Memorial Collegiate students. You may recall back in the spring that more than 800 students were displaced by a massive fire at their school and now they're supposed to be coming here to start the new school year. This place had actually been closed down more than a year ago and the school board has been trying to get it ready over the summer, but parents and students aren't convinced it's going to be ready. He's gearing up for the year ahead, but the school Joshua Camacho is supposed to be going to is looking a little rough. There's classrooms set up, you know, teachers have to get in and prepare their stuff, so will it be set up in time for the kids. Joshua's mom is concerned that Scarlet Heights is still undergoing a major makeover when it's supposed to be welcoming students from York Memorial Collegiate in a matter of days. Those same students were forced from the halls of their historic building by a six alarm blaze back in May. They ended up sharing space with another school nearby before a decision was made to reaccommodate them elsewhere. I think at most there might be an extra week that we might have off if they're still, you know, setting up stuff. But other than that, I, I'm not too concerned because I don't think any kid would be concerned with an extra week off school. <laughs> Joking aside, crews are still working on the roof of the building. Materials are scattered and it's very much like a construction site. There is some evidence of construction at the school because quite frankly, there is work being done on that right up until the first day. And while some of it may bleed into the new school year a little bit uh, to finish up, uh, the school will be ready for the first day of school. However, the school board does say that while the doors will open, it won't likely be totally ready. There's a pretty good chance work will continue while students and teachers get to work themselves. There were also plans made to have parents and students come and tour the newer facility before the year began. But at this point, access denied. At the end of the year, we were given a letter that said there might be, uh, well, there was going to be an open house for parents to go in when the school was ready to see things and how it was going to, how it was set up. But up to now, we haven't heard anything. The other thing Charmaine hasn't heard anything about yet is accommodating students for traveling a further distance to get to Scarlet Heights. This school is actually five and a half kilometers to the west of York Memorial. She was expecting a TTC pass for her son. She hasn't heard anything yet, and the clock is ticking before the school year begins.